Hello everybody, it's me, JW55, as you most of you know me. I'm here today to show you how to do a custom photo backdrop on the PS4. Now I've seen floating through Reddit, and I couldn't find it again, about how to do it by changing a file convert version from JPEG to PNG and using a USB key, but I've found a much simpler way. What you're going to need on your phone is Google Docs, uh, Google Photos, my apologies, and any photo you want to display on there, you're going to use Google Photos on your phone and upload it onto the cloud. Then you're going to sign in through the PlayStation browser, and you're going to sign straight into Google Photos, your account, and you're going to choose which photo you want, so this one I'm going to choose here of my little beautiful baby boy and what we're going to do is we're going to press square to full screen it now in the top left there are if you move the mouse there are some icons up here so what we'll do is slide the mouse down to the bottom left and stop moving and then they will disappear as well like so and then all we're going to do is hit the share button on our controller take the screenshot and then we're going to go all the way back out. Settings. Oh, that's the wrong one. We don't want sharing a broadcast. We want themes. Select theme. Go all the way down to the bottom. Go to custom. Select image. All. And voila, the screenshot you've just taken is in there. And then all you're going to do is select that and apply it. One very fast and very easy way to get a custom photo on the background of your PS4 after the firmware 4.5 update. What I will say is it's not reliable for photos with a lot, a lot of activity going in. So just watch out for that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers.